fucking just outright silly. That's brought to you by our host, Mrs. Allie Quebec. Thank you, Rod. No, thank you, Allie. No, really, it's my pleasure. Anyway, let's get to meet today's contestants. Our returning champion, his 23rd time on Jeopardy Today, is one of the founders of modern existentialism, Mr. Franz Kafka. Woo! such as The Metamorphosis, which helped exemplify what we now know as existentialism. Our philosophy is that of never-ending hopelessness, that there is no salvation anywhere. We believe that life exists eternally at 3 o'clock a.m., at a time when everybody is completely alone in utter darkness and bleakness. Don't you ever get so depressed? You just want to die? All the time, Allie. In fact, last week I tried to slip my throat with a piece of paper. Well, anyway, isn't that nice? Uh, our next contestant comes all the way from merry old England. Let's give a big hand for Mr. Bill Shakespeare. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi Bill. Bill. Hello. Hi, as I hope you already know, I'm the great actor and playwright, William Shakespeare. I think they already know that, Bill. Oh. Uh, I, as you know, wrote one of, if not the one of, if not the most important piece of literature of modern times. This was Macbeth. In Macbeth, I displayed the philosophy of humanism that was common during my time period. Your time period? How old are you, Mr. Shakespeare? Uh, let's see, by now it must be um, about 300 and... Oh, anyway, it's none of your business. Uh, humanism, as I was saying, is the philosophy which states that humans are at the center of all occurrences, and that people must show balance in all things, or turn into raving, snarling, horrible beasts. Wow, like Beauty and the Beast? Mm, well, no. Oh, well, anyway. It is a pleasure to introduce our third and final contestant tonight. Put your hands together for Monsieur de Voltaire. Woo! Uh, thank you, thank you. I'd just like to take this for a moment to reflect upon how hard the lives of the bourgeoisie, the middle class are. Being a filthy rich philosopher, I know exactly how that feels. But isn't it very hypocritical of you, the upper class, to comment on the sad situation of the classes below you? Mm, yes, but that's not the point. Then what is the point? Mm, I forgot. What were we talking about? Oh well, now that we've gotten to know our contestants, let's start this game of Jeopardy! <laughs> our categories tonight are Famous insects Scottish stuff that starts with Mac Books in motel drawers The colors of the rainbow And James's throughout history Front since you are a returning champion, please go ahead and start us off. Okay, Allie, I'll take books in motel drawers for one minute. And the answer is, this Old Testament character's faith was tested because of a bet between Satan and God. <coughs> That's easy. Who is Job? Can we accept that? Yes, go ahead. I'll continue on with books in motel drawers for two These two brothers, one by the end of the story, we're compared to Paso and Lucky of Waiting for Godot. Who <laughs> are Cain and Abel? You are correct. Pick again. Ah. James is throughout history for 100, please. This king, the successor to one of the kings of Macbeth, was an influential factor in the War of the Roses. <laughs> who is King James? I'm so sorry. The correct question is, who is King James II? Darn. Mr. Shakespeare, please choose again. I'll keep going. James' direct history, 200. This Evan Avian character represented the prejudiced laws of the U.S., even through the 1960s. Ooh, Jim Crow, Jim Crow! Mr. Voltaire, I'm sorry. You didn't respond in the form of a question. Or buzz in. Grr, grr. No fair, you just don't like me because I'm French and have this outrageous accent. Um, anyway, continue on, Mr. Shakespeare. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take famous insects for 500, please. And the answer is... One of today's three o'clock triples. Woohoo! The category is famous insects. How much do you care to wager? I'll blow the lot. Okay. For five hundred dollars, another name for the Egyptian scarab. Gregor was referred to as this. Uh, uh, what is a locust? I'm so sorry. The correct question is, what is a dung beetle? Alas, forsooth, I have lost it. All of it, my money. Yet. <laughs> um, yes it. Continue. 
Can you on, Mr. Shakespeare? <laughs> the Rainbow 100, please. The inhabitants of the legendary El Dorado call this substance mud. <laughs> Obviously, what is go? You are correct. Please, continue on. Uh, Scottish stuff that starts with Mac. The Please, this, for 100. This foe of Macbeth was from his mother's womb untimely ripped. Who is Macduff? You are correct. Um, continue on. Uh, James is for 300. And the answer is, this James and Jesus were like this. Who uh, uh, is uh, Saint James? You are correct. Um, now that you're on the board, let's take some time for a word from our sponsor. Have you ever wanted to know what your future will be like? What is the outlook for these dimensions of your future? Are you looking for money? Is your love life lackluster? Do you wish you were as famous as Samuel Beckett? Of course, we all do. Here at the Weird Sisters Psychic Friends Hotline, we can offer a real, live, honest-to-gosh recording of someone who has been clinically proven to be psychic. Nine out of ten dentists agree. Really? Just call 1-900-M-A-C-B-E-T-H, and we'll link you up one-on-one -on -one with your very own personal just-for-you psychic reading. Here, listen to these true-to-life accounts. My life was mir mira miraculously saved by the wired sister psychic friends hotline. I used to be just thin of clumps. But now that I talked to my own psychic advisor, I decided to claw my way to the top. Nobody will stop me now! <laughs> Before I got a weird sister for my psychic friend, I was just a thermometer. But now, with the help of the weird sisters, I convinced myself that I'm really a thermostat. See, I've even got my neat little dial right here, and I can control the weather with my thoughts. Kids, Remember, you must be 18 or older to call. If you forget, naughty, naughty, but the Weird Sisters forgive you. One dollar the first minute, three dollars each additional minute. Any homicides, regicides, parasites, genocides, suicides, xenocides, or any other big words ending with sides are entirely your fault. Especially that Scottish jerk who tried to sue our pants off way back when. Call today, 1-900-M-A-C-B-E-T-A. No! 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 Sisters, psychic friends, don't call us, we'll call you! Minorities. To this day, 
many people are placed in stereotypical roles in our everyday life just because of the color of their skin. Think about that the next time you hear someone make a racist joke. They're just reaffirming their hatred and fear of others. Uh, oh. Oh, what's the use? I might as well go hang myself right now. You might get an erection. Uh. Uh, where were we? Waiting for Kafka to go. Uh, uh, let's go for Famous Insects 100. And the answer is, the other 3 o'clock triple. Mm -hmm. And your wager? You now have minus 200, but you may bet up to 500. I'll bet 500. This insect of a senator proclaimed in the late 1800s. We have scratched our heads to find out how we could eliminate the last one of them. We stuffed ballot boxes. We shot them. We are not ashamed. <coughs> Who was Senator Bell to pet the Ben Tillman? How did you get that one? Well, I've studied up on my modern history, and how could a gem like that escape my eye? It's such a great example of how crappy the world really is. All right, but I still think you're cheap. Hmm. I'll take books in motel drawers for $300. OK. This was the topic of the long letter in the New Testament written from Paul to the Philippians. Come on, somebody's got to know. Bzz. Did I say it? What is circumcision? I suppose that it could be taken that way by some sick, twisted minds. The question we were looking for is, what is the true way of Christian salvation? Maybe I've got something else in my mind. Um, let's keep that to ourselves, shall we? Uh, choose again. Let me go with my element of Scottish stuff for 300. And the answer is, these were the three apparitions that appeared to Macbeth when the three weird sisters foretold his doom. What, you think I remember? It's been 380 years for crying out loud. No questions? The correct question is, what are an armed head, a crown child, and a bloody child? Mere child's play. <laughs> All right, insects for 200. The answer, this instrument, played by Gregor's sister, brought him great joy after everything else had left him. <coughs> what is a violin? That is correct. Choose again. Books in motel drawers for 500. This violated commandment was the reason for a woman to be stoned in the New Testament. She was rescued by Jesus by the famous line, Let he who is guiltless cast the first stone. <coughs> what is, thou shall not commit adultery? That is correct. And we're out of time for single jeopardy. Let's move on to double jeopardy right after these messages. I'm going. You can't. Why not? Because we're waiting for Godot. Ah. Are your feet sick and tired of waiting for Godot? They will wait no longer. With the new, improved, existentialist elevator shoes, your feet will be much more comfortable than they ever were in some crummy old pair of boots. Our patented gushy sole is 100% guaranteed to feel comfortable on any weary foot, or your wasted time completely refunded. As an added bonus, their increased height allows for clear viewing of the world around you. And if you order now, we'll throw in this patented tandem noose. It's perfect for those awkward situations where you just need to hang yourself and a loved one but just can't get one noose around both your necks. It's great for parties, weddings, and bar mitzvahs. Here, why don't you try a pair of these great existentialist elevator shoes? feeling we're actually all alone in this desolate place? I really don't think he's coming. Who? Good old. Oh. Troubles with headaches? Here, try two of these. Little metal bullets. Damn, I wish I had a gun. Oh, oh. Parody. All the stakes and winnings and losings are 
are doubled in this round. The categories are annoying philosophers, famous last words, existentialism and stinky boots, over the rainbow, and potpourri. Voltaire, please choose your category. Thank you, Allie. I'll take famous last words for 200. These were Gregor of the Metamorphosis last words. Was ist und jetzt? Can we accept that? Yeah, give the board. Annoying philosophers, 200. Candide followed this big mouth, know it all philosopher to the ends of the earth. <coughs> Who is Voltaire? I'm so sorry. The correct answer is, of course. Who is Pangloss? Choose another category, please, Mr. Cocker. I'll keep going with annoying philosophers for 400. This philosopher from waiting for Godot couldn't think without his thinking cap. Whoa, how could I be that lucky? That is correct. What is correct? No, that's incorrect. What? No! My head hurts. Oh. Um, I'll, I'll choose potpourri for 200. The answer is, this very famous black civil rights leader was murdered on April 4th, 1968. <coughs> Who is the late Dr. L Martin Luther King Jr.? Yes, that is correct. Choose again. Existentialism and stinky boots. 200. This character from Waiting for Godot showed his prejudiced view of the world by refusing to eat a certain color of vegetable. Ooh, ooh, it was estragon. You did it again! What? You forgot to buzz in, and you even formed your answer in the form of an answer. I mean, you formed your question in the answer of form. Ugh! Now you've got me all confused. Where were we? Um, uh, waiting for Kafka to go. Ugh! I'll choose Over the Rainbow for 200. This mythic land filled with gold and jewels was the best of all possible worlds. What is Florida? I mean, it's so warm and sunny, and that fountain of youth makes it seem mighty tempting. All that golden OJ. No, OJ's from California. Huh? Shut up! Both of you, you're both wrong! The correct question is, what is El Dorado? Since you're all so stupid, I'll pick the next category. We'll take famous last words for 1,000. This was the statement uttered by so Socrates on his deathbed. What is, I drink what? Darn, you've heard that one before. Go again. Uh, woohoo. I'll take potpourri for 400. The answer there. This German monk spent his entire life in seclusion studying the Bible and all its works, and wrote his response in the Imitations of Christ. Who is, who is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? Franz, Mozart wasn't even German. He was Austrian. Can anyone else give me the correct answer? The correct response, of course, was, who is Thomas Kempis? Pick again, Voltaire. Uh... Existentialism, stinky boots, 400. This character in the second act of Waiting for Godot is referred to as all humanity. <clears throat> oh, who is Pozo? Can we accept that? Yes, <clears throat> Pozo is the correct response. And it's that time again. We'll return to Jumble to Parody right after these messages. relatives keep invading your home, do they seem like they never want to leave? Do they eat you out of house and home like a guest they are? Does their very appearance make visiting friends shudder? Fright no more. New from Insecticide Enterprises, the company that brought you Dante's Bug Inferno and the Bates Roach Motel is Kafka's Cruel Relative Remover Kit. For the low, low price of $19.95, you too can purchase a kit that teaches the ancient martial art of purging yourself of annoying and repulsive relatives in 12 easy-to-follow steps. 
All that is needed is a newspaper, a room with a sturdy lock, a few easy to throw apples and other assorted fruits, and normal human nature. See how this family ridded themselves of their pesky son. Then no good lazy Brega, he never helped around the house. After he turned into that ungehoirous ungetzigba, he just laid around all day on his tukis, smelling bad and eating us out of house and home. But now, with Kafka's cruel relative remover kit, we're slowly dra driving him to utter depression and depriving him of the will to live. Isn't that right, Babushka? Sure is, dear. Why, just the other day, I could have sworn I heard a dejected moan coming from the other side of his door. It seems to be working just the way we wanted it to. Mother! Father, Brega is dead, our hatred finally killed him. Thank God, and thanks especially to Insecticide Enterprises for the chance to destroy that vermin before he ruined our lives. Granted, dear, are you sure he's dead? Absolutely. Then it's your turn next. Ah! without the worries of 
what am I going to pack, or what if the plane crashes, or what if I end up looking like a dumb tourist? Forget the wish you were here postcards, because everyone you know is still next door. Call today to book your reservation for the vacation of a lifetime. Here, see this happy family on their Pangloss vacation. I'm so happy. As am I. I wish I were dead. I wish you were dead. Mom, you said we were going to Disney World. But our garden needed tending. And anyway, you can always read your postcards from your friends who are having the adventure of a lifetime at Disney World, the funnest place in the whole world, over and over and over and over. Oh, who am I kidding? This sucks. Aren't they just precious? Remember, planning your own vacation is just a phone call and a hop, skip, and a march time away to Pangloss Travel Agency. <laughs> Shakespeare. 
Uh, hello, I'm Jason Leak, and I play the part of Voltaire. And I'm Graham Genitus, and I played the part of the announcer. <laughs>